the Big Island is truly one of nature's masterpieces. This sacred land is home to beautiful beaches, powerful volcanoes, spectacular waterfalls, and some of the most breathtaking marine life we have ever experienced. Come with us to experience this stunning island and see why it might be your favorite Hawaiian island. We left on a Saturday and flew from LAX to Kona. We have seen some great flight deals lately, so keep an eye out. The first thing we did when arriving was grab our rental car and head straight to Volcanoes National Park. This iconic national park is a powerful reminder that we are guests at the mercy of Mother Nature on this planet. The sheer vastness of the volcano is an incredible sight to see. The first stop we made at the park was the steam vents. It was a colder day which made for an awesome experience walking through the steam and feeling some of the natural warmth from the volcano. The next stop for us at Volcanoes National Park was a short half mile hike to the lava tubes. This short hike was a perfect way for us to see some more of the park. The lava tubes themselves were pretty incredible and we would definitely recommend taking a trip to walk through and experience them for yourself. On our walk through the lava tube we met a family and quickly became friends. When we got out of the cave the couple offered to show us some of the local fruits of the big island. They pulled out fresh cacao beans, guava, pitaya, passion fruit and even sugar cane. All local tastes we hadn't tried. It was one of the highlights of our vacation. This experience reminded us of why we love to travel. Everywhere we go, we're grateful to meet incredible people who are kind and want to share their part of the world and culture with us. These experiences often make us reflect on how we treat strangers and serve as a reminder to the innate desire and potential that we have as human beings to be kind and help others. Eating fresh sugar cane for the first time in Volcanoes National Park was an experience we will never forget. The next day we set out to see some of the incredible natural waterfalls that cover the northeast or Hilo side of the island. Our first stop was the Rainbow Falls. Unfortunately, a lot of the viewing areas were closed, but we were still able to get a beautiful view of the falls. The next stop on our waterfall adventure was the Boiling Pots or Pe'e Pe'e Falls. We highly recommend taking a quick stop here to enjoy the natural beauty. Both of the falls are incredibly accessible. You just park your car and take a few steps before enjoying the falls. The next fall we stopped at was the incredible and somewhat hidden gem of Narnia Falls. This fall is a little bit less accessible as it is a 3.3 mile round trip hike, but it is every bit worth it. Unfortunately, as of the time we were editing this video, the falls are now closed to the public, but we recommend checking back when you go as the falls are absolutely stunning. The final stop on our waterfall adventure was Akaka Falls. Akaka Falls is arguably the most popular waterfall on the Big Island and it did not let us down. The hike down to the waterfall is gorgeous with all sorts of plants and biodiversity. got to the fall, we were pretty blown away by the sheer size of the waterfall. Pictures definitely don't do the nearly 450 foot drop justice. Mm -hmm. 
On our way back, we stopped in the beautiful town of Hilo and took a stroll through the largest Japanese botanical garden outside of Japan. While we were there, we had dinner and enjoyed a beautiful sunset. While we didn't get to spend much time in Hilo, we fell in love with the beautiful city on the water and are dying to go back and spend some more time there. The next day, we set out to do one of our all-time favorite activities, snorkeling. The first place we went to snorkel was Two-Step Beach, named after the natural two steps made by the lava rock. As soon as you get in, you can see fish and corals all over. This is one of the most popular snorkeling spots on the island, located across from the City of Refuge, which is another must-see. The shallow and calm waters make it a great snorkel spot for all skill levels. While we were there, we were lucky enough to see a pod of dolphins, which was a surreal experience. It really was a bucket list experience we didn't know we had. The next step on our snorkel adventure was Captain Cook Monument. Getting there is a little bit more difficult, but after you do, it's a pretty amazing place to snorkel. You can get there via a two mile hike down or by taking a kayak or boat tour from just across the bay. We opted for the kayak route as we were told the hike was pretty difficult. A challenging exit and entry makes snorkeling here a little bit more difficult. However, it is still a great snorkel spot for almost all levels with tons of fish and a good chance of seeing some bigger animals like dolphins. While we didn't see anything crazy here, we thoroughly enjoyed the snorkel and would highly recommend Captain Cook Monument as one of the best places to snorkel on the Big Island. The next destination on our journey through the Big Island was the Waipio Valley or Valley of the Kings. This sacred valley was once occupied by many rulers of Hawaii and serves as a burial ground for many important figures. As such, it is a place of great cultural importance. Because of the divine power of this valley, it is believed that no harm will come to those who dwell here. Despite a massive tsunami in 1946 and a flood in 1979, nobody actually died in these disasters. The Waipio Valley was a special place for Rachel and I to visit and was my personal favorite place on the whole island. The hike down and back up is not for the faint of heart, but the greenery, taro fields, cliffs, and stunning natural waterfalls made it a place that I will never forget.
are ever on the Big Island, we would highly recommend taking an afternoon to explore the spectacular Wapio Valley. That evening, we went on a night snorkel tour to see the manta rays. This is the only place in the world you can have this experience. This tour takes you out into the ocean and places you around boards with lights. Plankton are attracted to the light, which makes this a manta ray feeding ground. These manta rays can be up to 24 feet wide and weigh close to 4,000 pounds, but on average, the ones you'll see are closer to 12 feet. <laughs> come right up to the paddle board with their mouths wide open. Every time it felt like they were going to touch us, but they never did. Being up close to these gentle giants was truly a once in a lifetime experience. On our final day of our Big Island adventure, we sought out to see the infamous black and green sand beaches. The first stop was Punalu'u Beach. This black sand beach is gorgeous, surrounded by palm trees and greenery. Unlike Santorini, where it was really a pebble beach, the sand here is very fine and feels nice to sit in. On the day we went, there were tons of sea turtles right off the beach, which was really cool to see. If you're dying to snorkel, you can here, but be aware the visibility might not be the best. Overall, Punalu'u Beach is a stunning black sand beach, which is definitely worth stopping and spending an afternoon if you have the time. The next stop for us was the infamous Green Sand Beach. This beach is one of only three green sand beaches in the world, which definitely put it on our list of something to experience. To get there, you can hike the five and a half miles round trip to the beach, or you can hire a driver from the parking lot to take you off-roading to the beach, where you then have a much shorter but steep hike down. The green sand beach is tinted green from the large amount of olivine crystals mixed with the sand. Unfortunately, the beach was not as green as we dreamed it would be, but it was still fun to see nonetheless. The beach was cool, but off-roading was probably our favorite part of this adventure. There were so many times we both thought there was no way we were going to make it up the hill, and every time we did. We finished our trip to the Big Island watching the sunset at the southernmost point in the United States. As we sat there, we reflected on and were humbled by the incredible experience we had on the Big Island. We have said it before and we will say it again, travel is always a privilege we are grateful to experience. This trip was no exception. The people were so kind and the scenery was out of this world. The beautiful water, incredible sea life, greenery, and natural waterfalls were absolutely stunning. Mother Nature really did spend a little extra time perfecting the Big Island, and we enjoyed every moment of our trip here. If you have the opportunity, we highly recommend taking a trip to the Big Island to experience all that it has to offer for yourself. Hey everyone, if you enjoyed this video, we would really appreciate it if you gave it a like and subscribe. It really does help us out. As always, we hope you have an amazing day.